Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. Um, today I'm going to show you how you can get Fallout 3 Game of the Year Edition running on Steam in 2021. I fancied a little playthrough of this, so I purchased it for like 3 quid. Um, shout out the CD keys for that. Um, tried to get it running, but was getting a lot of issues with it. Um, looking online as well, it seems to be a lot of other users are having problems. Seems to be Windows 10 just doesn't like whatever way the game was was coded um, for obviously the old operating systems. Um, but seem to have a fix for you, so I thought I would share this and um, be great if this helps someone else out. Because it certainly seems to work so far for me. Um, I'm about 10 hours into my playthrough with about 45 mods running. Seems to be stable. Um, no crashes so far. So let's get into it. Um, what you're going to need is a Nexus Mods account, free to sign up, so super easy on that one. Um, you're going to need a mod manager, mine of choice is Vortex, I think it's just real simple to use and it does the job for what I need it for, and also 7-Zip. So, starting off, you want to go over to silverlock.org and download the Fallout script extender, just download the latest version there. Should download a zip file for you. So I have mine downloaded on the desktop. So what you want to do is you want to use 7-zip and extract that. Get rid of your zip folder. So you want to open this up. And within here you'll see a range of files. So basically what you need is all the DLL files and the loader.exe so what I like to do when installing the script extender is let Vortex handle the data folder I think that's the safest way um, just to uninstall and to just manage your game um, so you want to highlight all the DLL files and the loader and from here right click 7-zip add archive so you can call this whatever you want um, script extender okay it's your zipped folder with all the dll files and the loader included in it so basically what you want to do is take that file and drop that into your mod manager and install it and that'll do all the hard work for you. Again, makes it super easy when you're trying to install things or, you know, diagnosing problems within that data folder. The the mod manager makes things super easy. So that'll take care of that for you. Once you have that installed, you want to go into your game folder, which is typically found in your Steam, Steam apps, common. And then follow three. So within here, you'll be able to find your loader.exe. Then you basically just create a shortcut on your desktop. What you'll use is this to load your game from now on. To make things look a wee bit better, you can go into properties, change icon. And from here, you can select the regular Foley 3 launcher. And that'll give you a nice icon instead of the default windows. So that's what you'll use to load your game up. So what I recommend you do is, once you've got to this stage, boot the game, make sure things are, you know, are looking well. You probably will crash out with it, the other fixes, but doing that um, is a good place to start. So. Next up, you want to head over to Nexus Mods, and you want you want to download games for Windows Live Disabler. So, you want to download this mod, and again, just clear up the other ones. So you want to extract this, and you open this up, and you'll get an .exe file. So. You want to run that, 
And basically what you'll have is a disable button, which you want to click that. And that basically disables a service what Fallout looks for. Um, basically looking for the old games for Windows Live service that used to be required for playing um, Windows games. So that disables that. You'll see from mine, the disabled is now greyed out. It's that stage done. Nice and easy. Maybe a good idea of keeping that file. Place it within your game folder. Um, just handy to have in the future in case you need to check something or, you know, always handy to have. So, next up, you want to download Intel HD Graphics Bypass Package. Another mod that you can download. Just download this one, drop it into your mod manager and enable it. Super simple on that one. And then the next mod you'll need is um, the Fallout 3 Tech Fix, which just, you know, looks, you know, basically just makes things a lot more stable. Again, this is what I'm experiencing, and these are what I started with before I built on the mod list. Uh, I think these are quite fundamentally needed in order to get the games to run. So again, download that file, drop it into your uh, mod manager, and then what we'll do is we'll try the game from there to make sure everything's working. So as you can see, let's open Steam in the background. So on the loader.exe. And the game should boot up for you. And we're at the title screen. So I'll just load up my recent save. Just to prove that the game's working. And as you can see, it's functional, it's playable. Um, Exit and buildings doesn't crash on you. So you can see here we're in Megaton. Or Megaton, sorry. Um, and yeah, things aren't crashing. So as you can see, that is a way to get the game running for you in 2021 um, took me quite a while to, to get this to work um, seems to be a lot of guides are out there are outdated um, which is rightly so it's you know it's a it's an old game at this stage so I wouldn't expect there to be much support out there for it that's that's you know relatively new um, so I thought I'd put this out there for you um, hopefully it helps uh, if you leave a like on the video I would highly appreciate it and I'll catch you in the next one.